Good evening. It is time for today's tax talk. I'm your host. I'm attorney Stephen Leahy. Um, it is Tuesday, March 15th, the year of our Lord, 2022. And uh, securitized blockchain blockchain assets. That's what we're going to talk about today. What are they? <laughs> you know, all these, we keep coming up with these new terms and new concepts. But they're all really the same. They're all connected to blockchain. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Won't you join us? Again, so the we're going to talk about securitized blockchain assets. A little bit different. Remember now, the IRS considers crypto; they don't consider that a security. That was a good thing. Right, because a lot of the rules about trading securities and who can do that and who can't would be are not applicable to cryptocurrency. But securitized uh, tokens a little bit different uh, than cryptocurrency in that, and, and so that's what we're going to talk about today. I wanted there's a great article here about um, about block about these securitized assets and um, real estate, and so that's what let, let's dive into that right away because it's a fairly long article. So let's talk about that. So here's the article um, on Cointelegraph. I believe is it Cointelegraph is the name of the... Oh, what am I doing? We always look look for the value. Uh, That's how we always start. And we always go to coinflip.tech and... uh, Look at their market. So let's do that first. I, I didn't. I, I'm going to forget about doing that. From the last time we talked, I actually did it on Monday and Tuesday last. I mean on Tuesday and Wednesday because we had a crypto Wednesday because some news came in for crypto and we did it and we did a crypto Wednesday and I went through the market. So let's let's do that. So here's the here's the market from the last 24 hours. It's at the thirty-nine thousand dollar mark for uh, for uh, Bitcoin. Ethereum is is up uh, I, again. I think every Tuesday we come in here it, for the for the day. It's up for the day. Uh, actually, I guess I guess I'm wrong about that because there is uh, Bitcoin is down about a half a percent for the day. But let's take a look from the last time we were together last week. And uh, so from last week. Eh, Kind of taking a dive, a little bit. It was up at forty-two thousand. Now it's down to thirty-seven, thirty-nine. Today it says it's right now it's at thirty-nine. Uh, so let's look at the Ethereum. And Ethereum say again they they cl- they always closely track each other, uh, and today is no different. Okay, so so that's where we wanted to go. I wanted to. Uh, want to start like we always do i'm a i'm a creature of habit i want to i like routine that's our routine is to start with the markets and and uh you know so now let's talk about this real estate lead uh real estate lead scrutinized blockchain assets in 2022 what is a securitized blockchain asset you might ask well i think that's a, there's an expl- explanation here here's another i have this other what what are security tokens this is a very complicated Article. I don't want to read too much about this article, but but I think they had a very uh, definite uh, definition. Firstly, what are security to- tokens? Firstly, let's briefly define security tokens. In a traditional sense, securities can represent an ownership position in a publicly traded corporation, a creditor relationship with a governmental body corporation, like bonds, or rights to ownership as represented by an option. A security token is a tokenized digital form of these traditional securities. Before we go any deep, deep, deeper, let's revisit the basics. What are tokens? Okay, so I'm not going to go into that. But I wanted to. I wanted to, to talk. Um, I wanted to get that out of the way first. Okay. So 89% of all traded security tokens are for real estate suggesting that the blockchain industry may be primed for further adoption of real estate NFTs. 
So that's all this is, is an NFT, right? A, a non-fungible token. Uh -oh. Let's, I tried to, Maria Bartolobo. This is very good article two, but we're not gonna, I don't wanna do that yet. Uh, real estate is an asset class that is ripe for integration with blockchain technology. Te Security tokens cover many categories, but are dominated by real estate. The Coin Telegraph Research Terminal is hosting a 33-page report by Token Security Token Market, a data and media firm that covers the current state of real estate security tokens and the potential for continued adoption. If you represent a real estate firm or have a portfolio that encompasses real estate, this report has the inf information you need to know uh, on this developing shift in the industry. And I'm not trying to sell you the, the report. I don't care if you get the report or not, um, but it's out there for you. And if you're interested, you should look it up. Non-fungible tokens have been rising in popularity over the past few years and really skyrocketed in, in, in the, to new heights in 2021. Some of the negative press on NFTs is that they are only used for pixelated pictures or J JPEGs and have no real world applications. Those familiar with the blockchain and crypto space know that the use of NFTs goes way beyond pixelated apes and memes. The report goes deeper into the utilization of blockchain projects currently tokenizing real estate. The, the report gives a general overview of the current state of the primary tokenized real estate market, 14 active projects working in this space, and how these real estate tokens are trading on secondary markets. And I got to say, this it is the perfect application for blockchain technology. And this is where we're going. And that's why I wanted to, to feature this article. The utilization of security tokens covers a wide variety of industries from fine art, wine, and insurance. But none are growing as fast as the real estate sector, which makes up 89% of all traded security tokens. Breaking down the 89% further, residential real estate accounts for 87%, while commercial only takes up 2% of what has been transacted as a security token. The global real estate market in 2021 was around $3.38 trillion. And with the rise of different applications that make use of blockchain technology, it is no surprise that the crypto revolution would find its way into real estate. Ownership and title of properties best is well suited for blockchain applications as triple ledger accounting, who sold, who bought, and, and the signatures is built directly into the systems that make up the process of exchange. The verifiability and trustlessness of technology make it ideal for removing many different barriers to transactions that plague the traditional real estate space. An, exi an example is title searches and the process of insuring them. It takes both time and money for mortgage lenders and buyers to go through a title search on property to ensure that the seller has the legal ability to transfer property rights to the buyer. With a tokenized property asset, this becomes a simple task of conducting a blockchain search. This is just the tip of a real estate token iceberg. Per and then they want to sell me the report. Um, in, in 2019, the first property was minted as an ERC-20 token on the Ethereum blockchain. While it may seem like a slow start to adoption, it must be noted that the real estate industry is highly regulated. Combine this factor with the growing decentralized blockchain industry, and you have a recipe for slow growth, at least initially. The report explains that the volume of activity traded real estate tokens increased in volume by 107% in 2021 from the previous year. Active pro projects involve a variety of different faucet, facets, including commercial hotels, private estates, Section 8 and affordable housing, purchasing interest through a blockchain IRA account, and insurance. As seen in the chart below, the majority of activity is heavily on the residential side as opposed to commercial. The process of tokenization adds an element of liquidity to the real estate market, which historically has been a known issue for the sector. Investors can also benefit from this by looking to ferret out yield generation and different fractionalization of property on a blockchain, eliminating complicated and expensive barriers to entry. The security token market real estate report is crucial for serious investors to read. Both earlier adopters and those unaware of this sea change can benefit from staying informed on the latest developments highlighted in this report. 
All industries change, and real estate is no exception. Anyone involved in real estate will benefit from the insights provided by this report and help keep their competitive advantage in the marketplace. So again, this I thought this was interesting. Uh, does the report do a better job? It does. But this is just to touch the, the surface, to let, let people know what's out there and why blockchain is more than is more than just cryptocurrency. Here's cryptocurrency mixed with uh, securities, mixed, and all of the benefits of blockchain: the the um, transferability, the the securitization, and that you know who it is. Uh, uh, you know, so this is very important, I think, to this real estate. And I see it. I you know I've been talking about this. We're talking about uh, smart contracts and all that with Ethereum. Well, here's another use for those NFTs. One thing about buying, you know, bad art with an NFT for for um, you know for GP general principles, but it's another thing using this technology for something useful, and and we could see how this can be useful and how to raise money, but with this with the DAOs, the de- decentralized autonomous organizations, where you can uh, do both of these. Uh, Buy tokens to raise money to for a project, and then secure it. You're secured in that project because you are an owner of that project. So very, very useful. You can see how this is going to be very. Um, uh, it's going to explode. I, I think in 2022, it's a, it's where to be, and beyond. Uh, this is where we're going. And so I wanted to make sure we got that article in. Um, this is the one on tokens. I don't want to go into too much of this. But I wanted to touch on this article here with Biden executive order on cryptocurrency is a disaster for U.S. industry. Extra. I, so this was going to be my story today. But uh, I, but I, but I wanted to do the, the, the securitization blockchain assets. Uh, I thought that was a more important story. But let's, let's briefly talk about this story also. Um, former acting assistant treasury secretary, uh, explained on Tuesday that the unfortunate thing about the President Biden's executive order on government oversight of cryptocurrency, arguing that taking a top-down government-run approach is not a pathway to innovation. I have to agree with them. That's never been the pathway to innovation. It's not going to be now. And the more that they tell us that this is a good thing for, for cryptocurrency, regulation cannot be a good thing. And over-regulation is what, where we're looking at, in my opinion. The unfortunate thing about the order is instead of saying, look, Crypto should be allowed to flourish here in the United States. It takes a top-down government-run approach that asks every federal department from the EPA to the Department of Justice to Homeland Security to figure out how they they can regulate crypto. That's not a pathway to innovation. It certainly is not. He went on to argue that the only thing not blamed for cryptocurrencies is Biden's in Biden's executive order is COVID-19. The order literally calls a crypto a risk for everything from human rights to crypto to climate change, to criminal enterprises. Well, we we, we read the fact sheet uh, last week, I believe, the, the executive order. I think that's what we did on two, uh, last Wednesday, uh, the, the fact sheet from the White House about the executive order regulate going after cryptocurrency. Last week, President Biden signed the executive order on crypto oversight that urges the federal government to explore whether the central bank should create its own digital currency. That's going to happen no matter what. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen said the move would promote a fairer, more inclusive, and more efficient financial market. No, it won't. While offsetting unlawful finance and preventing national security and financial uh, uh, stability risks, the Biden administration views the massive popularity of crypto as an opportunity to examine the risks and benefits of digital assets, the, the Associated Press reported, citing an anonymous senior administration official who previewed the order the day before it was signed. Under the executive order, Biden also reportedly directed the Treasury Department and other federal agencies to examine the impact of crypto on financial stability and national security. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so that's as much as I'm going to read about that. I, I, I have to subscribe with this gentleman that that the executive order is is not a good thing for the crypto industry. Um, they, they noted in this article that that the um, after the announcement of the executive order, crypto actually took one up. Um, but again, I don't know the exuberance of of the federal government in seeking regulation is a good thing for any industry. Um, I get that that they're trying to protect the consumer, 
but sometimes our government and i think most of us can agree goes overboard in trying to protect the consumer and in the end hurts the consumer in my opinion that's what i think happens but anyway so thanks so much for joining us here today this is good stuff this uh this information that we're sharing with you and uh so i'd ask you to like and subscribe let's get it out there let's get people i'm going to ask you to get your friends and family and those that you know to to subscribe to the channel share this information with them it's very very it's so very important and remember if you're fighting the irs first thing you do get a copy of my book deal with your irs problem today go to free that's free and get your free copy of deal with your irs problem today uh Again, that's the first thing you do. It's the first step in solving your IRS problem. Get a copy of the book. Don't cost nothing. So I would suggest that you do that. So thanks so much for being with us here today. Uh, I think that the security tokens are common. We talked about the um, all these. There's so many now different types of tokens. And what really is behind it is what, what they represent, right? How, what do they, uh, cryptocurrency is, represents some ledger but secured uh, tokens actually represent a, can can represent a physical item like real estate so thanks so much for joining us we look we look forward to having you here again tomorrow uh, and i hope you can join us here tomorrow thanks so much mm-hmm.